We've got a lot of movie news to cover in this video. We have a Garfield movie, update on the live action Snow White, Great Outdoors 2, Hocus Pocus 2 updates, and a Morbius trailer that has linked pretty much every Spider-Man universe out there. In case you're new here, I'm Kevin and I am doing a Fandango gift card giveaway. I've already gave away one, looking to give away a second one. This giveaway is very simple to enter. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment down below on what do you think the channel name should be. That's right, I'm considering changing the channel name. It's not 100% yet, but it's pretty close. Reason being, a lot of you have said that when you type in fantasy films in the search bar for YouTube, it's very difficult to find this channel. So I'm considering names that may rank higher in YouTube search. So what I need you to do is drop your ideas down below. What do you think a good channel name would be? And the one with the best channel name idea gets the gift card. It's that simple. All right, enough of that. Let's get into the movie news because I've got a lot of stuff here I'm very excited about. First thing I'm going to cover is the new Garfield movie coming out. Now this one it's very interesting because Chris Pratt is going to be voicing Garfield. I don't know what it is with Chris Pratt, man, but he is on fire right now. He has got a lot going on. Jurassic Park Dominion. He's got Guardians of the Galaxy 4. He just signed on to do the voice of Mario in the Super Mario Brothers movie. And now he's doing Garfield. I even think he's got another movie or two going on. I can't remember exactly, but heck, man, he's on a roll. He's on a roll. We'll just keep going. But yeah, he's going to be voicing Garfield. Now this is going to be an animated film. We do not know who's going to be playing Garfield's owner, John, or any other cast members for that matter. And we also don't know when this movie is supposed to come out. I used to watch the cartoon when I was growing up. It was funny. Garfield's a very laid back kind of cat. Not very active, kind of despises activity actually. His idea of active is getting up to go get a lasagna out of the oven. That's his idea of active. So I'm interested to see where he goes with this character and what kind of personality he gives it. So if you like the Garfield or if you've watched Garfield before, drop your comments down below. What do you think? Chris Pratt, the orange cat. Next topic I'm jumping on is a favorite of mine, The Great Outdoors. This is an older movie with John Candy and Dan Aykroyd. And I thought this movie was absolutely hilarious. I still watch it and I still laugh. And we've just got word that Dan Aykroyd is working on a great outdoors too. That's exciting, yet a little concerning. Reason being, John Candy was a huge focal point in the original movie. And since he's not with us anymore, that's why Dan Aykroyd said it was such a long time before he could get himself to make a great outdoors too, because John Candy's got huge shoes to fill. I mean, this is a major role that I don't know that many people that could, you know, fulfill it the way John Candy did. Big Bird, chase! Big Bird, chase! What did he say? What? Big Bird, chase me! But in a recent interview with Dan Aykroyd, he did say that The Great Outdoors 2 may be happening after all. He said he's teamed back up with the original director to develop a new sequel dubbed The Great Outlaws. Huey Dutch was the real fun director on the picture. He loved handling Candy and Me. Huey and I are working on the sequel called The Great Outlaws. I am looking for the candy figure. There are some really interesting names, but I can't say who. Huey and I are tickled to bring back Roman as a Ponzi scheme guy who victimizes a federal agent. Who knows, if I find the right partner. So it sounds like he's working on the project, but it's not 100%, it's all dependent on Candy's replacement. And rightfully so, because that is a situation where I'm kind of torn as a fan myself. Do we leave that movie alone because John Candy can no longer do the second or do we push on to the second and try to hope that the next actor can fill his shoes? So let me down in the comments below if you think that we should make a second one even without John Candy. I'm, I'm torn, I don't know whether to say yes or no, but I love the idea. Now for a little bit of Hocus Pocus 2 news. Now, we've got little bits of information here and there on this, and we know the filming has started, and not a whole lot's been revealed other than the cast of the Sanderson sisters, which we know were all returning from the original. 
But we also have one other character returning from the original movie, and that is Billy Butcherson. Now, he was played by Doug Jones in the original, and he is set to come back to reprise his role as Billy. Now, I think that's fantastic news. The more of the original cast that signs on, the better this movie's going to be. And Billy was a nice big part of that movie. Even though he wasn't in it super long, it still, he played a big role. Now, they're currently filming now in Rhode Island. They've built a 1960s village there. So whether this will be a flashback or a large part of the movie will yet to be seen. But maybe during that 1600s village scene is where we'll see Billy Butcherson maybe prior to him being a zombie when he was supposed to be a couple with Winifred Sanderson. That'd be very interesting to see. I'm kind of curious how that pans out. So we're gonna move from Witches and Zombies to Disney's live action Snow White movie. Now this one is currently in the works building a cast. We know that Raquel Zegler is gonna be playing Snow White herself. Pretty good casting there. I think she has the look, but the more interesting role is gonna be that of the evil queen. And now we know that Gal Gadot is in final negotiations to fulfill that role. Now the key phrase here is final negotiations, which means she's not 100% signed on yet, but practically signed on. And I think she will make a really great evil queen in this scenario. Now when it comes to Disney live action movies, I've not made it a secret that I'm a mixed bag of emotions. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. This one I'm hoping is gonna be really good. The casting is turning out really well and I have high hopes for this one. Snow White, I think, can be done so well. I like the storyline, it's very whimsical, and I think with the direction they're going, especially again with the cast, is leaving my expectations pretty high, so hopefully it doesn't disappoint. All right, so the final bit of news I have is the Morbius trailer. We've all seen it by now. If you have it, I'm gonna put the full trailer down in uh, my Instagram page. Link for that will be down in the description below. But breaking it down, this trailer from Morbius has linked almost every Spider-Verse we know of right now. And it's left me really confused on when this is actually taking place and not only really when, but where. So during Morbius's incarceration, so he is talking to the Vulture, which we know is from Spider-Man Homecoming, which is Tom Holland's universe. So. Immediately, I'm thinking, okay, this is the world he's living in. But then when he leaves prison, he's walking down the alley with Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, aka Tobey Maguire, on the wall that says murderer. So now, okay, I'm confused. We got a link to Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire. But then it gets even more confusing. We have a still shot of the Daily Bugle newspaper that references not only the black cat, but also the rhino who is on the loose. Now, the rhino... That's Andrew Garfield's universe. So we have somebody from each universe already linked together for Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, and Andrew Garfield. And then if we want to get even more confusing, well, there's a scene in the trailer where he is attacking this guy and he asks Morbius who he is and he says in a joking tone, I'm Venom. Who hey, are you, Matt? I am Venom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. What? Now we're throwing Venom in the mix. So Morbius ends up talking to the Vulture, Tom Holland's universe, walks out of the jail, sees Tobey Maguire Spider-Man on the wall, and we got the Daily Bugle referencing Rhino, who is Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. And then to make things even worse, we're throwing Venom in the mix? What in the world is going on? I'm so confused on what universe this fits in, the timeline, where... I don't even know. So if any of you have an idea on where they're going with this or how all this fits in, please fill us all in. But as a whole, this trailer looks so good. I am so impressed. They did such an incredible job with the transformation from human to vampire and this overall look. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to see this movie. Uh, it's one of those deals where it's going to be a darker side of the MCU, but I think it's going to be just what we need to kind of spice things up a bit. So obviously I want your comments down below on everything we talked about, especially the Morbius trailer, because I am, again, seriously confused on what's going on here. But definitely talk about it down in the comments. I want to discuss it all with you. Don't forget to leave an idea for the channel name, especially if you want that Fandango gift card. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and obviously your comments. I'm Kevin. 
and I'll see you at the concession stands.